What's going on guys, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And if you've been waiting for this one, time is up. Hit the reset button because the stopwatch has officially timed out. We're looking fantastic on this one. This is gonna be for the Vankyo 430W Leisure Projector, meaning it's a little bit smaller than the other models. I actually will show you, but I have the V630 in my living room. I watch it every night on my 125 inch Akia screen. I've done a video on both those products already. I will try to link those as well. Not to mention with this as well, it will be right below the video. You'll see the link for this exact same projector. You guys can read more about it, pick one up yourself. You guys in the UK, I will have you linked as well, if not one very similar to it, but I'm pretty sure Vankyo sells their projectors in the UK. Let's go ahead and go over a couple sweet features that this does include. The native resolution is gonna be 720 HD. You can screen mirror with this as well. It does have an internal speaker, which is really awesome. I will show you again my setup with my V630 and having that speaker is very nice. So let's get it out of the box. Vankyo does make some great products and I'm expecting big things from this as well. All right, let's see what is inside the box. Right off the bat, very nice. You have your carrying case because this is a portable projector, that's gonna be really nice taking it over to your buddy's house for game night, UFC night, plug in your Amazon stick, stream the fight, poker night. You guys get what I'm putting down right there. Inside the nice case here, we have our straps here for the projector we're gonna to get to in just a second. But let's see what's in this pocket here. We have ourselves some long cleaning tips, microfiber cloth, and then our little literature here. We have our user manual. We have our quick start guide there. Okay, let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. We have our typical US power plug. Of course, if you guys purchase this in another country, you guys will have the appropriate plug there. Next, we're gonna have a little pivot stand here. That's to push the projector up in the front to be able to screw that in. And that leans the projector up a little bit or flattens it all the way down. And then our visual cables with our AUX insert there. We also have an HDMI cable and we also have a remote control as well, which is gonna need some batteries to it. And that's gonna be two triple A's you're gonna need. And let's go ahead and take a look at our projector here as well. A couple Velcro straps there and up away we go. That's gonna do it for the case. And I didn't even mention they do have screen mirroring with the Vankyo logo right there. And this is actually a really nice case. It matches the material on the V630 projector. And it does have, like I mentioned, your little handle right there as well. Zippers all the way around. All right, let's go ahead and, and look at the projector here. Very small, very lightweight. Vankyo logo right on front there, front and center. So we do have a lens cover, of course, like we just saw. You do have more plastic material you need to remove right on the edge here. And here is our manual focus with our keystone adjustment right here as well. Our remote sensor right on front, nice shiny white gloss on the front here. Clean white all the way around. Coming to the back, you also have a remote sensor here. Ventilation here with your speaker. Ventilation right here, your power input here, and more ventilation here. Let's take a look at this side a little bit more closely. Here is your headphone insert right here for headphones. If you want a game at night, watch something while everyone else is asleep. Your AV plug-in right here. Your memory card slot right here. USB, your HD port here, your VGA here. Nothing on the back. And again, just your power input there. Your power button, menu button, back button, and so on and so forth buttons here. Your OK button, your up, down, side to side buttons right here. And on the bottom, you're gonna have, these might be speakers as well. I'm not exactly sure on that one, to be honest with you. This might be just ventilation, and these might be your speakers here or here. Soft pads on the bottom there, tripod mount there if you want to mount it obviously up on a mount and then flip the rotation in the menu settings so that it's right side up if you're hanging it from your ceiling like that. Or use the provided thread knob there like I will be if you want it flat on a surface with it elevated up a little bit like that. So in the instruction manual, it shows you how to set up your keystone, your focus, etc., And then of course, your USB SD, your HD, your VGA, your screen mirroring over here. Shows you how to screen mirror for iOS, Apple, and Google, of course, or I should say for the Android system. Here are a couple of specifications that you guys might be interested in, so you guys can go ahead and pause this and take a little look at it. Those are the approximate feet in meters and feet 
for the distance for what size screen you want. Obviously very short for 40 inch, 55 inch, 80 inch, 150 inch, and 236 inches. I have a 125 inch screen set up in my living room, so I will be a little bit shorter than obviously 150. 150 is only 18 feet away, so this is nice to measure this in the room that you want it to see the max size screen you need or the max projection of the image. Also here are some specifications. We'll go over these very briefly. You probably wanna pause these, I'll zoom in these just a little bit here. The display technology is LCD, the light source is LED. Again, native 720p HD, focus is manual. Keystone is plus minus 15 degrees. The aspect ratios are right there. Front rear ceiling mounting. There are your photo format supported, your video format supported, your mounting screw. There are your ports there. Your net weight is 2.68 pounds or 1.22 kg and your power supply right there. All right, let's set this thing up. All right, guys, good news. We have got the projector fired up here. And let me just show you the contrast between the Vankyo Leisure 430W compared to the Vankyo Pro model, which is going to be the performance V630 model right there that I have reviewed already. Obviously, this one is gonna be beefier. This one is gonna be my home theater setup one. But what is nice about this one, it's smaller. You can take that outside, project it on your garage door outside for a birthday party, etc. So obviously, this one won't perform as well as this one, but the review is for this one, and it's for a compatible travel one. Let's go ahead and flip around. I have a 125-inch screen right over here, and the V630 does phenomenal, but again, this review is for the leisure. So these are the directions for Android screen mirroring. I'm going to show a little quick clip right now. You actually have to drop down your notifications. You have to allow smart view. I was able to figure it out and then I was able to connect to my projector to be able to see up on the screen what my phone is displaying. It actually works great. So that passes the test right there. I do not have an Apple phone, so unfortunately I couldn't do that part of the review. I have a Android phone. Of course you can use the remote if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back over to the HDMI input here, which I have my Amazon 4K stick inserted in the HDMI port. And obviously it's gonna look a lot better at nighttime, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit here. It does have a speaker as well. Let's play YouTube instead. That way I won't have a copyright strike. All right, so here's my channel right here. We are pretty far away, so obviously it's gonna look a lot washed out, but we're gonna get some nighttime shots as well. You wouldn't use this projector in the daylight anyway. I actually use my V630 in the daylight, and it does look a lot better than this. I will mention that. Now, something to keep in mind a little bit as well, at least with the distance that I'm playing it with, I will go ahead and test this at a shorter distance, but it gets a little bit blurry down below and clear clear in the middle as it gets a little bit blurry down this direction, at least with the fonts here and being able to read. I will test that on a shorter throw to see if that fixes the issue, which it should. We are approximately, I'd say about maybe 17 feet, maybe 15 feet away from the screen or so, but let's go ahead and play. I'm just giving you a couple options. Here's my own video right here. Now that looks a lot clearer than it did with the, the, the font there. They were dumping so much stuff so, right This is actually looking pretty up. decent during the, uh, the daytime. Obviously, it's gonna look a lot better at nighttime, but it's a lot clearer than having all that font and all that other stuff out of there. So this is just my picking channel right here. There I am there. Looking really good there. And obviously, we do have the speaker coming out the back here which is nice as well. I've been really enjoying that feature on the V630 as well. I'll have both of them linked in the description box below. You can hook up an external speaker. You plug it into the headphone jack or listen to a headphone jack if you want. If you want to listen to headphones, let's say you're playing Call of Duty, you're playing some Xbox, you have your VGA hookup as well for computer monitor, USB. You have your focus here on the front, and then you have your keystone. What keystone does is it kind of flaps it back and forth if you have your projector at an angle. You, of course, do have your lens cap as well, which is nice. I put that back on to prevent dust. And I just use, again, the Amazon stick shoved in. Streaming works great. And if you are wondering, it's very quiet. We'll go ahead and listen in here.
not much noise at all. I could easily sit here, especially with the speaker coming out the back. Very quiet, I like that. All right, we'll be back with you with the nighttime shots. Well, here we are. We pushed the projector unit closer to the screen. It does in the manual recommend around 80 inches for the projector to shine on the screen here. And with it a little bit closer than where it was, it's a little bit more clear. I can actually make out the words a lot better than they were when they were around 120, 125 inches or so. It's still slightly blurry in the corners, with small font and font, but the picture does look a lot better and the text does look clear, but just in the bottom left and the bottom right, the text is still a little bit blurry, so just keep that in mind. But overall, I'm very impressed with the quality of the projector. I watched it last night. Internal speaker was doing a fantastic job. I was just actually sitting over in this chair here with the projector, of course, on top of the V630, and it was doing a great job. Of course, you can toggle that volume up or down if needs be, but the quality, again, is very nice, especially for the price point and how small it is for portability. As we saw, the picture at nighttime was very crisp and clear, and it definitely passes my test for a nice budget-friendly portable projector unit. Again, it is quiet as well while I'm watching. So guys, just like all my videos in the description box below, once again is going to be this exact same projector by Vankyo, the Leisure 430W. So go ahead and look for that link below. Thumbs that video up on your way out and subscribe. I got a lot more videos for you guys. Also at the end of this video, check out the V630 projector and that will again be linked below as well. You guys have a great day. We will see you on the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.